Toastmaster of the Day, and my dear fellow Gavalians. By now, you may wonder why I am going to talk about a snowdrop. Let me keep it for the moment and hear words. I would like you to join with me to reflect back on the journey I travel so far. First, I will take you 21 years back. On a full moon poet day, adding more value to that, on a Vesa full moon poet day of the year 2000, Bevini was born as the first child in my family. And I was named as Tedi Apsara, which connotes that angel to my family. To be honest, my entire childhood is paradox of what I am today. You may believe or not, I used to grow as a baby boy. Haircuts, dresses, what I did, what I used to talk in each and every aspect. I was a baby boy just talking to a girlish man. The reason may be perhaps I used to remain with a male caretaker during the entire childhood. You know, I have interesting stories of my baby boy version. I still remember. When I was in the nursery and during the early years of my school, I was that one girl who had male besties only. Those days, my male buddies always used to complain me about their little points. And I was always volunteering as a lifesaver. Whatever the reason, my passion was everything other than studies. Those days, my mother was preaching me, bringing examples from beautiful girls who did everything well. But not me, just for a sentence. I was still the stubborn boy version who was willing to try something new. The best memory is the day I was saved from an electric shock when trying a gadget with my two crime partners, my brother and my sister. As I think, the only memory I had with them is that, as my mother always used to say, I was that bad role, spoiling the younger ones, keeping them up. least of the best chapter of my life. As I now reflect, the turning point of my life is the grade 5 scholarship examination. I don't know whether it was my good luck or bad luck. Somehow from the 2011 onwards, everything turned upside down. Hopefully, I was enrolled into a girl's school. My second alma mater, Maria Shodra Gampaha. Just imagine a girl like me among the well-disciplined bunch of girls who were feminine in every aspect. As it was blow, I had to change my hair color. Uh, using Ashudra also, I was still the free bird. Nevertheless, I found two new things to love, and those were English and basketball, which you might think quite absurd. English Day celebrations, English Day competitions, English Drama Festival, added to that, your in basketball series were the carnival days for me. I should remind you, during this process, my whole personality was in transition. By the end of year 2013, when I was in grade 8, I realized that I too have the potential, just like my peer girls, to work hard and earn colors in studies. There are words, I used to be an avid reader, bringing some hopes to my parents. Although my, my notebooks were empty, I used to be transforming myself to a book book. I scored the best in every subject, quite interestingly, being the positive role model for my siblings, which I now perceive as the only benefit of being a good girl dedicated for studies. With these funds, I was able to win another milestone in my life, the ordinary levels with high colors, gifting my parents with utmost containment. Then, I took the wise decision of following the art stream, and I entered my third alma mater, Mother Ragnavali Gampaha. The learning environment, the positive competition I had to undergo there, compelled me to be in the track. When talking, about the advance of the period, there is that one particular person that I should remind. For the first time in the life, I found a best friend. 
with Fatima to plan and learn. We faced advanced levels. Freestyles were shocking. Finally, I ended up in law faculty while my daddy motivator ended up in arts faculty. Absolutely a bad life job. The present me is an outcome of a long term present. I used to be the nasty of the family and now I'm the meek. I used to be the most annoying girl and now I'm the most calm girl. The girl who tolerated the bad hints of her parents now will be easily offended. Just say something positive about me. I have no big hopes. I just live the moment. One thing I appreciate of myself is that the self-integrity. Whatever I have early in life is genuinely earned through hard working. At the same time, I'm an avid self-lover too. Among the workloads, I will still have some time to sing for myself. Why not? I'm that profound dancer too. I will dance whatever I could into a style that comes to my mind. This is the simple me, the most contented version of myself. Now, it's a time to unpack why I choose to be a snowdrop. You know, snowdrop is that lone flower which appears during the winter the hardest. Somehow, she struggles to survive, producing the rabbi, being the only flower to please the world during the hardest. Yet so calm and quiet, Snowdrop will never look for attraction. She will sew in her modesty and at the window and at the end of the winter she Snowdrop. I will conclude my speech, inviting you all not to be a Snowdrop, but to be that extraordinary among the ordinary in your own fashion, in your own style. Thank you.